A family detained by ICE after making a wrong turn at the Canadian border. Seven members of a British family, including a baby and two-year-old twins, are in federal detention center. And hello again, I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Lindsay Sheldon. This family was detained for almost two weeks and filed a complaint about their treatment. Camera 7's Graham Johnson is piecing together what we know about this case. And Graham, this story is getting international attention. And Lindsay, this uh, did not happen near a big crossing. The family was detained in a spot where the border is barely marked. I want to show you an overhead view of this international border, which is right in the middle of farm country. Now, as we zoom in here, you can see parallel roads that are separated by a ditch. Border agents tell me the family was driving here in Abbotsford, B.C. when they turned toward Boundary Road right over here in Linden in Washington. Now, Customs and Border Protection officials say the family was detained in the ditch. Driving officials say, quote, slowly and deliberately. But the family says the crossing was accidental. Eileen and David Connors are in a Pennsylvania detention center with their three-month-old son and four other members of their extended family, including two-year-old twins. The British family has been detained since crossing the U.S.-Canada border into Linden around 9 p.m. October 3rd. It was a very silly set of circumstances that that went to an extreme and it didn't need to get there. In a sworn statement, Eileen Connors wrote, while on vacation in Vancouver, we made a very brief detour on an unmarked road to avoid an animal on the road. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials say the vehicle entered the U.S. illegally by slowly and deliberately driving through a ditch. The family describes being in the United States for a matter of about five seconds, at which point they are encountered by Border protection. The family's attorney, Bridget Cambria, says they accidentally crossed the border looking for their hotel. So I, we all make wrong turns on roads. If we're stopped by an authority figure, we would hope that that authority figure would send us on our way to safety. Instead, these authority figures took two families into custody. And their custody has lasted 13 days. Eileen Connors wrote that after being put in detention, her husband was sent to this facility in Tacoma, and she and her baby were taken to the Red Roof Inn in SeaTac before they all were flown to this family facility in Pennsylvania. Connors wrote, We will be traumatized for the rest of our lives by what the United States government has done to us. Officials with Customs and Border Protection say during processing, records checks revealed two of the adults were previously denied travel authorization to come to the United States. And U.S. border officials say Canada refused to take the family and the two attempts to contact the British consulate were unsuccessful. The family's attorney expects they'll finally be back on a plane to the U.K. in the coming days. Graham Johnson, Cairo 7 News.